What's going on LinkedIn? Brian with the Y here with Spinties, and I know it's been a while since I've created a video for LinkedIn, but today I am coming online to share with you all a new sample that we have that I'd love for you to get your hands on. It's a 3D printed hand orthosis. Let's see. Uh, it's a 3D printed wrist hand orthosis that is adaptive so that a patient could be able to slide in there. Sorry, I'm using my new iPhone and it's going back and forth, but so that they could slide in their utensil. Um, this is a, you know, this is not a groundbreaking device. This is uh, something that occupational therapists, hand therapists are very accustomed to, but what is interesting about this device and the the process at which uh, you could fit it onto your patient is that it is 3D printed. So it's made off of a 3D scan of your patient's limb. In fact, this one was made of a 3D scan of my limb. Uh, so I'll put it on just to show you how it fits. But with the Spinties app, you will 3D scan your patient's limb. Uh, correct the position of the limb. Here's what's nice. Follow along with me. If you'd like to see this digitally, please reach out. But imagine that your patient who needs an adaptive orthosis is contracted in a way to in the wrist, uh, the digits are contracted, and you have that patient in a position that you scan them and it's not necessarily the position that you want them in their orthosis. So what do you do? On the Spinthys app, you can be able to identify the joints of your patient's limb on their custom scan and change the position of the digits in the wrist. So you could be able to add an abduct, you could flex and extend the wrist, as well as all of the joints in the fingers, including ab and adduction of the thumb. So after you correct the position of the patient's limb, you then have the option of choosing, will Spinties design this orthosis for me, or will I do it myself on the application? For upper extremity, you have two different modeling options on the application, one which is based off of a template, and that's meant for maximum efficiency. We have thousands and thousands of patients that are included in our data set so that we could create custom templates nearly like this one, in seconds. Uh, that is called Autoforma. Autoforma is on the Spinthys app. If you'd like to check it out, uh, you could be able to download the Spinthys app for free on your iPad. And we have some demo scans in there so you could check out Autoforma today and understand how you can use automation in the design and fabrication process of creating custom splints. Now the other is a little bit more freedom and flexibility in the way that the brace is made uh, or modeled. And that's using our tool called Freeforma. Freeforma enables you to draw the splint onto the limb and gives you a little bit more flexibility and customization in where you place the belt loops. So imagine the limb in 3D space and you're using your finger to draw on the trim lines of the orthosis, avoiding your bony prominent areas, and you draw on the orthosis that looks a lot like this. And once you draw it on, oops, need to fix that uh, Velcro tab. But once you draw it on, you'll then put on your, uh, your belt loops and place where you would like for the serial number to be. Um, if you are printing with Spinties, you're printing your device in an FDA registered facility. So it's the highest level of standards and quality uh, that you could find in central fabrication of custom devices. Um, and you have a really nice fabrication process. Black devices, custom in seven business days. Yes, seven business days to get custom orthoses such as this. Great for chronic pathologies. Uh, I know if you want to fit something next day or same day, that lead time is a bit challenging, but we have to understand where innovation works today so that we can help accelerate it 
and get it to the point to where it works for more patients in the future. So identifying the right patient population, like a patient with a chronic uh, pathology, could make to where the innovation works. It's like seven business days, great. Uh, absolutely. That's the no-brainer that a lot of people are understanding today. The ability to scan, correct that scan, model it, and print it enables practitioners to spend more time with the patient or doing documentation. It alleviates a lot of the back and forth that you have with your fabrication partners if you're fabricating off-site. And it's a really easy tool. Did I say easy? Because creating splints with traditional thermoplastics, from what I'm told, not everybody's at the same skill level. That's what I'm told. It's not as easy as it is for everybody, uh, for one person. Some people, it is difficult to make traditional splints with really aesthetic and beautiful features such as this one here. With 3D technology, it is easier to create custom splints. May take a couple days to print, or if you have your own printer, it may take a couple hours and you may have to post-process that if you're printing it yourself. If you're printing with spinties, it comes just like this, ready to fit onto the patient. But if you're printing yourself, there is a little bit of post-processing, but post-processing is a lot easier than sometimes creating a complex orthosis. So, if this is interesting to you and you've watched this video for nearly seven minutes, I highly recommend that you reach out to Spinties and book a demo with us. If you'd like a custom sample such as this, we'd be happy to make it for you. In fact, we are looking for partners right now that can implement our validated upper extremity workflow and begin to, patient, begin to fit patients today. If that's interesting, reach out. We'd love to talk with you.